Hello, and welcome back to Coin Lady channel. There has to be rules established for this area. And if you still don't believe it, consider that the recently released Justin Sam Beckman claims he was innocent on all charges of fraud. Anyone? What the? I just saw that he was on Twitter, your honor. Right? In addition, he shared an example of what I mean. Guys, I don't know what to say, this place is really insane. Perhaps, perhaps, he did. Or perhaps he truly believes this to be true. But this is exactly why rules and laws are required. In several respects. No, there's something more to consider. Bitcoin, since you've finally broken into the ACS system, your time has arrived. There is speculation that Vice President Joe Biden may soon release a historic executive order that could have far-reaching effects on the price of XRP and the larger cryptocurrency markets. I just skimmed the article, but from what I gather, it shouldn't have any impact on XRP. Because it might be relevant to Bitcoin. Multiple coins will be selected, and we'll discuss this phenomenon in today's video. Right? There must be a major catastrophe. As this leak suggests that Vice President Joe Biden is preparing to sign a landmark executive order that might ignite Bitcoin. XRP with Ethereum? Let's face it, the entire crypto market's price volatility is crazy. I mean, you people are weird. That's terrible timing. To what, though, does this refer? We need to inspect the cell. Bitcoin and other major cryptocurrencies this year had been feeling the pressure of an impending crypto crackdown. Right? Despite the fact that ETFs will likely launch this year or next, right? Eventually, they will, and that point may legitimately be the market's peak. Reports in ACS have thrown the Bitcoin and cryptocurrency business into uncertainty. So, supposedly, they're going to regulate, I think, or have some type of laws God's right and talks about artificial intelligence, and President Joe Biden is hosting a summit of top tech executives at the White House to do just that. Okay, AI, but what the heck does it even what does that have to do with digital currency? Keep reading then, since on Monday, Binary is said to be releasing a massive, far-reaching, and long-awaited executive order concerning AI. Now, if you come down here, reportedly many important people will be present. However, the news of the injunction leaked out early last month, causing widespread panic in the crypto community. It might make computers into national resources, as the saying goes. That means what, exactly? Computer power, this is also looking promising. Which one? Which currency is it out there? Do you know, do you know? In a word, no. Let's rewind a bit, because legislation is being proposed that would require cloud providers like Microsoft, Google, and Amazon to disclose when a computer purchases computing resources above a certain threshold, including front off for things like mining, Bitcoin, developing video games, and running AI models. This legislation would specifically state that mining Bitcoin would trigger such disclosure. In a steady, slow fashion, the crypto sector is facing increased scrutiny and regulation. How peculiar. The timing of this is also getting close to the collapse. However, the head of government affairs at a Bitcoin and cryptocurrency focused investment firm warned last month that such an order may be seen as operating operating choke point before computational power, suggesting that Bitcoin mining could be seen as robbing families of power. Oh. By the way, all these taxes keep popping up, and they won't stop until the system collapses or new rules are implemented. Right. Which begs the question once more, who was it? Chris Larson, probably. Gus. Ways to make a ripple effect. Correct, no. Chris Larson, probably. And you know I've been advocating for a while now that the Bitcoin code be updated to be less energy intensive, right? Vehicles that produce more energy than they consume would be ideal. How peculiar. Moreover, developers' time spent on Cryptus will be taken away from other projects. More energy is consumed annually than in some small countries by the Bitcoin network, 
which relies on miners to validate transactions in exchange for newly created Bitcoin using high-powered computers. ACS has more Bitcoin miners than any other country due to China's 21-2021 ban on Bitcoin mining, and it's about to say goodbye to America as well, right guys? If anything unrelated to us happens there first, it will inevitably happen in the United States. It's almost time for this prohibition to go into effect, gentlemen. This appears to be a sure thing, right? There is a story in the works that calls for Bitcoin's price to fall, have a catastrophic crash, and then rise again. Right. Fascinating and interesting. Now, this was purportedly way back in 22 when we were waiting for Biden's crypto order. So, fellas, what do we make of this? Do I spy the Ripple logo here, guys? When discussing laws and clarity, it seems that the only asset that can be considered a safe haven is Ripple XRP. Why? The fresh Hamas sanctions implemented by the Treasury go against intermediary shell firms. Treasurer Justin Denise has, the Treasury has announced additional sanctions aimed at preventing the financing of terrorism, and these restrictions particularly target cryptocurrency companies. Nothing is off limits, and the importance of banks and cryptocurrency exchanges in the wider sanctions campaign is emphasized by AMO, to prevent T's from gaining access to resources, we anticipate action from financial institutions, digital asset businesses, and others in the virtual currency ecosystem. He added that if they don't do something to stop illicit financial flows at a school, Vinny and our partners will say, wow, I can't believe it. You guys, I just cracked down, and it's only going to get faster from here. You guys better watch out. Don't put your trust in any of these dubious currency options. Max Kaiser, an extreme proponent of Bitcoin, has arrived. The XRP is something he despises. No, he very certainly does, in my opinion. Take heed to his words, Ty asked, and after maybe two minutes, he erased the tweet. In my opinion, Tether, at a time when the United States' reputation as a global reserve currency is tumbling, USDT is one of the top 10 buyers of US Treasury bills. Any attack on USDT is an attack on the dollar and, by extension, the United States. Wow. So he's using this story to criticize politicians and regulators while arguing in favor of the US dollar. Nevertheless, Max Kaiser clearly doesn't give a damn about any of this, let's face it. All that matters to him is Bitcoin, because if your city were to crumble, it would be disastrous for the Bitcoin economy. Right, while Circle USD might find that HMM interesting, you should not fall into any of the frauds involving attacks against Tether that I have uncovered. Right. We are aware of the many underhanded practices that Tether engages in. In his research, he came to the conclusion that stable coins should be regulated, but he couldn't tell you why. Exactly, Michael's bar. But hold on a second. Didn't Michael play a part in a bar? Included in the wave, do I have this right? Sole reason. This is why an ex-crypto advisor should read this carefully. A former member of the Ripple advisory team, and here we are. Having to comply with rules seems excessive. You. Not believable today's forecast is as accurate as yesterday's. Right? Take a look, I must comment on this since. It's over, and we're getting confirmation like never before since he said stable coins need to be controlled, something I've expressed in earlier comments. Surely regulation occurs once something is linked. They won't continue to be as formidable as they are now. The markets are about to plummet severely, if not completely collapse, as a result of investors getting too much shut-eye. If an asset is tied to a government-issued currency, for example, it's a method of making personal financial transactions official, when an asset serves as both a medium of exchange and a means of preservation of wealth. The bank's faith is used as collateral. Therefore, it is in the Federal Reserve's best interest to make sure that all stable coin offerings conform to applicable federal regulations. Initial framework for monitoring to ensure they do not endanger the soundness of the financial system or the security of the payment system. You will perish once more if you are not among them. 
They're basically telling Tether that if you don't join them, you'll perish. That's how effective regulation will be implemented. We have also instructed the financial institutions under our watch on how to approach their supervisors when contemplating the usage of such products. Intriguing, and he touches on CBDCs, a topic we'll be exploring in further depth in a future video. You can't make this stuff up folks, in the end, it will be gone because Canadian authorities ordered Kraken to delist a tether fraud. Absolutely insane. This is a hilarious thing to say. It's not a yes or no question since they're being compelled to do it, have a look to what this Kraken says. Here and now. Tether USDT DAI, DAI wrapped Bitcoin wrapped Ethereum, and several other S currency will have deposits, withdrawals, and trading on all Canadian exchanges temporarily halted until further notice. Stable USDT and D coins? You guys are crazy. Wow. What follows is essential information. So now I believe you may use USDT wherever in Canada. Starting on November 30th, 2023, snow will fall here. There will be no further breaks or training functions. Right? We're at the start of it now. The process has already started in earnest. What do you think? Will you or won't you? The information given here is not intended to be taken as financial guidance, so you probably shouldn't let yourself listen to it. But we have heard it straight from the horse's mouth, so perhaps we should take this into consideration. Things are picking up speed and will not punish us. It's all over today. Please like and subscribe my channel. See you later, bye.